in Eleanor's eyes. Flee the markets and leave the carcass. Believe in logic and industrial revolutions. Rummage for courage in batches of boxes. Shoot the wolves and the foxes with the lens of an abandoned camera. Someone is scattered and backwards, passed angrily through time and back in the present again. Eleanor died in a dream and screamed herself from sleep, seeming to mean something different. In Berlin, you can be different. In Spandau, you can be different. In Eleanor's eyes, the sunlight chimes and she'll stay alive, still smiling. Of sky and sea and sand. I held the sky in my hands and dug my feet into the sand, spewed spume and grew brooding moodily, and I, I, I don't mind it, my past life's future potential seeming sentient, and it all builds up and breaks down, crashing through space and time, thinking about Einstein and the way he fled this land to shake hands with Americans. It's like swimming with the fishes, only British sinking quickly and sucking salt up from the water. The lower case of the lower class when you can't touch your face or watch your ass go by. So I'm going down to the sea again to see what I can see. To seize the lonely sky before we're born and we breathe and we die. A dubious trinity. Smile with your eyes behind visors and try to make some sense of it. As you see no evil, you hear no evil and you speak of it. These ladies developed from angels and they paid with their shades and their shawls. There's no colour, not now, then or ever. Just the voice of Leonard Cohen floating softly from the sky into your mind. Kinda sad and sorrowful, but mostly just enjoying the sunshine. When you turn your back and replace the lens cap, they turn from black to white and back again. Simple statues simply raptured, falling from the roof and taking flight. Happy birthday. We don't even know how old you are or if it's your birthday, but let's celebrate shamelessly anyway in case this day comes again and we're too full of pain to play party games, passing parcels round the table. Your birthday means nothing, not even to you. You survived one more year, but for what? To what end? Every birthday I wonder if it's my last and yet you're older than I am and younger because time plays tricks on the mind and only the blind can lead the sighted and it's the myopic folks who see the most but they don't always share it with others. I was young once. It was awful. Growing older ain't much better. The early morning mist. Pipe down, old man. It hurts to see clearly and it's a curse to be blessed with the worst when the wet mud sucks at your feet and takes your shoes off. You could sit in the park day after day, week after week, year after year, and your age might change, but the days will remain the same and you got to be the light you want to see in this world, which is why strangers smoke cigarettes and light pipes with tired eyes like lighthouses. You will be missed like a kiss on the lips, the spray of rain that forms a thin film on the lenses of your glasses to be wiped away on the sleeves of your jacket. Something's fading somewhere and the marble paths to the past will be gassed and plastered over and the acid smooth milk will be filtered through charcoal and sprayed at your feet to keep the seats beneath the tree clean. The boy in the picture. He could have been anyone, so he was everyone. Every murdered son on the western front and every bullet from every gun. He stands for the common man falling down the wrong leg of the trousers of history and whoever he may be, he left a mark that they never thought about when they took his photo in the year of our Lord 1942. There's something sinister and brooding and when you're steeped in sepia it's easier to believe in meaning although I can't help feeling we're insignificant. So I burned my photos and deleted the backups and now there's no boy and no picture. Let's leave the kids to play and play another record on the gramophone. Without music, I wouldn't want to win the war. Reflected in my heart. We were drawn together in the reflections of shop windows, trained to behave in certain ways but to still be crazy, and it's strange to be standing silently, smiling but frightened. When the storm clears, you can see the hills and hear wheels clicking while they gun the transmission and blow the whistle, and this train will only stop for Churchill, pulling into tunnels and lighting carriages with matchsticks to fight the darkness, whichever side you're on. We're all just reflections of our father's actions and our mother's intentions, trying to make sense of electrons. Long after I parted, the screen will fade and boats will be made, sailed and lost, and we all have our stories to tell, so we'll tell them. And until the mountains fall in the sea, reflected in my heart, you'll ever be. Lost on the corner. There's not a sign or a lighthouse, only ashtrays safe for rainy days and straight up empty streets and windows. You can't even hide in a caravan, the voice of caution echoing like a childhood memory. Stay away from these women, they'll make you swallow aspirin. It's like when you can't go on and you have to go on and there's no one to ask because opinions are and people don't flush when they're done with them. Perhaps we'll disappear until the end of the year when the fear's gone, lost on the corner for the viewfinder to focus on. From tip to filter. Why don't you give me some of them pre-war high tar unfiltered cancer causing cigarettes? 
We could sit together with the window closed and smoke behind your ear like a pencil, pensive and mental and ready to soften and stress with the best of them. There's a rumour passed between the lips of strangers, a blissed out kiss for mannequins only moving to exhale again, a pause. Then she slides her stocking feet into polished shoes, exhales again, flicks ash into a small silver urn and uses the end of one cigarette to light another. The Secretary Sisters Take this new form of lesbianism and apply it to the arts. Smile like your mother smiles while slitting your wrists with secateurs so that in death you bring new life. Like the smile in a wife's eyes when her husband gives her the flowers you used to grow. Left-handers live less on average than right-handers and ambidextrous folk are left-handers in denial and that's fine by me. If we pluck flowers we'll have thorns in our hands but they'll be different hands so we can hold them together. If mother could see you now she'd go crazy but that's okay because you can always kill her and throw her in the river or am I confusing matricide and patricide and regicide with the pesticides you spray so freely? Wind up gramophone. Even a sharp stick can be an army knife, an inferior tech can beat superior tech when your life is analogue and you take your socks and shirt off in this Indian summer to help the music move moods. Now you're brooding and lucid, unmoved and abusive at 78 RPM and sad songs make me happy even when it rains. How I'd love to travel back in time, I'd launch acid house raves in 1860s rural Denmark just to see what happened. Define music, is it mathematical based on scales and vibrations or is it a foreign language with basic rules of grammar and punctuation? Or is it a mood that you choose like the hues of the blues? Raw emotion stored on shellac. Take this kiss. He's got to take your mouth and suck it dry. He's got to take the kiss from the lips. He's got to check his wrist while the watch still fits. He's got to go, 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 explode. And she knows that his wife's at home from the tan line on his finger. But she'll linger in the winter until she's injured. And she's a singer without a voice to sing with. So she takes the vowels from his kiss and tries to sound them out. And the world is on fire around them. Take this kiss and do what you will. Blow the mind with explosives or fall down dead with the ghost of a smile on your plastic lips. Take this smile and ride at home or keep on kissing until the kiss becomes something bigger than it actually is. Take this kiss and deal with it. Beneath the War Memorial She's out in the snow alone, reading and reading and rereading, seeking something more than her final form beneath the War Memorial. It's the subtle juxtaposition of the Spanish Inquisition and the last train back to Brixton. She tamed the birds with a trail of breadcrumbs and learned to use words to her advantage. Take these pixels and rearrange them, make something amazing with careful shading and gradients. Build things, use your two hands to melt the snow around you, reread old letters and make them better sitting in your sweater beneath the war memorial. Search for truth and wisdom, search for subtlety beneath the linden tree, place your hand on my thigh, the birds will melt in snowy silence. Under the linden. He's behind you, spying as you walk the tree-lined boulevard through broken promises like the cracks in the pavement you step on. And you don't understand what they're talking about, so you watch in silence as their hands move over the checkerboard, old men delaying death until the final possible second. You can still smell the smells you smelled. You can still touch the hands you touched. There's something deeply sinister about frozen delight in children's faces, or maybe that's just me. Statistically, 100% of suicides are born as babies, which is the greater tragedy. Round the tree. What's the point of lumberjacks? It's true, I'm not a fan of Christmas, but fake plastic trees seem unnecessary. And you get to see the family, but why do you need an excuse? It's like breathing in and not breathing back out again. We might have lost our baubles, but we haven't lost our marbles. And if the air is sweet with cinnamon, perhaps we should make it smell like cigarettes. Let's not get carried away when it's just another day that's the same. You can celebrate saints and superstitions through misplaced faith and consumerism, but I disagree with you on principle. I'll be in the attic writing songs on my guitar.